Hello everyone, my name is Izien and I am from the SRM production support team and in this video I'm going to share with you the SRM production offering and a basic demo. I will begin with a brief introduction of SRM. SRM stands for Server Resource Management and it is a web-based app that reports historical trends of key distributed server resources. So data is collected on each of the target platform servers locally and data is collected minutely. The agent will collect data throughout the day and the data will be pulled through a series of network techniques. SRM incorporates a series of supplemental programs and techniques to consolidate for regular processing and store into the database for retention as per SLA, which then enables dynamic reporting through both intranet and internet access. SRM serves as a centralized IBM GS data mart specializing in PCM reporting and metrics for server and ELPA processing assets. Each of the major server platforms and related metrics are supported, including most Windows and Unix platforms. Middleware metrics such as SAP, DB2, SQL Server, and Oracle are also supported. There are a series of report types involved in which I will walk through some briefly in this introduction video today, which includes performance reports, capacity reports, box reports, configuration reports, and collection status. First, let's talk about the performance reports. This report shows the various daily, weekly, or monthly server resource trends. Performance reports cover OS-specific metrics that may be used for detailed resource analysis, problem determination, and a threshold analysis. For example, server utilization, server memory, disk I.O., processes, and so on. Performance reports are recommended for users who are familiar with the unique metrics found on each platform type, whether Unix, Windows, or others. Here we have a demo account. What you see here is an overall account level view. Since SRM is running dozens or hundreds of servers in the account, the data course is rolled up and stored here historically. Next, I would like to touch on the executive reports. These reports provide a summary of various forms of system usage, which covers around three columns. Attributes, performance, forecast. This report is beneficial for determining the worst case status of any resource for all servers. The usual key metrics included in this report are performance and forecast. Thirdly, let's go into the box reports. These reports displays the box resource trends in which the platform included are P-series and the X-series with partition, Virtual Center X-series with partition, HP VSC, and Solaris Global. This report is beneficial for viewing box processor, memory, DASD, and network metrics. The default display of this report shows only the boxes. Next, we'll go into the configuration reports. This is a little self-explanatory. This report contains the install base reports, which covers the install base by application report, OS report, and virtualization. Configuration summary is beneficial for allowing the user to examine each system's hardware profile and server specifications for reference. Included is the machine list reports, which give users the ability to quickly see the list of servers currently registered to SRM for their account. Details are provided to show the account and sub-clients for each individual server. These reports enable the user to quickly determine if there were any data collection problems for a certain date and what the issue was. The account collection status report shows an overall collection rate in percentages based on the data type. By diving down on the account links, the server list is displayed with a status for each data type for each server. Another report shows the number of days since last collection to pinpoint servers with consistent collection problems. Please take note that these reports are only available on the SRM intranet website. That briefly covers the introduction to SRM and I hope everyone finds this video informative and helpful. For any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact our team or you can even go to our IBM intranet wiki link to view more information regarding SRM. Thank you and have a nice day.